Hey guys, uh, so while I'm saving up a little bit of money to buy a new inverter, I wanted to show you what I'm doing out here in my garage. Uh, I'm working on some 18650 packs for my power wheels, and let me show you what I got going on here. So I dismantled a number of these Ryobi packs. I still have a couple more to go. I was trying to get these ones to, you know, work again, but that didn't work. So I'm going to pull those apart as well. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so I am testing them. Um, this is my bad pile over here. So these ones were either heaters or self-discharging or something else was wrong with them, um, but they wouldn't charge. So those are gonna get thrown in the bin. And over here, these are all the good ones I've gotten so far. Uh, and these are the old batteries for my power wheels. Uh, so I have two power wheels, three kids. These are 12 amp hour, uh, 12 volt batteries. So my goal here is to uh, make more batteries for the power wheels that last longer and run better. So depending on how many cells I get, um, I'm going to uh, do 4S and then I'm not sure how many P. Uh, but this is the BMS I'm gonna be using here. Uh, it's a 60 amp 4S 12 volt BMS. Uh, and I'm going to be putting that on to this pack. So this is the setup that I made for charging these batteries initially. So all these cells were, they were basically dead. I mean like 0 0.1 volts, 0 0.2, maybe 0 0.3, that was about it. So I bought a bunch of these um, little Kala Engineer LII 500 chargers. Uh, I bought five of them, and I put the cells in, and it didn't work. I was like, oh, hey, why doesn't it work? Well, the cells were too dead, so it thought they were something else. Didn't think they were, um, you know, lithium uh, 18650 cells. Uh, so it wouldn't charge them past, you know, two volts, I think. Um, so that is when I made this little guy here. So uh, I, I made a nice little base for it out of some old... Ryobi batteries. Um, then I soldered on um, a piece of 12 gauge wire onto each side so they're all paralleled. On this side however you can see I've put in some fuse wire and that's just in case I get one that's real bad or, or something happens it, it'll you know just blow the fuse. Um, and then I got my power supply here so I'm charging these up to 4 volts. Uh, what I've been doing is basically getting up, getting them up to three volts, and then putting them in the in the chargers and uh, doing a a test on them. So um, I do have a, a Fleer One Pro, uh, and I've been hooking this up to my phone, and that way I can see, you know, I'll, I'll wait a half hour to an hour maybe, and then any batteries on here that are heaters, I can just pull them out and throw them in the bin. So here's what it looks like when I'm looking at it through the thermal camera. These, uh, these cells here, uh, these are the Samsung cells, have been pretty good. Uh, the LGs were kind of junky compared to the Samsungs. Uh, and you can see going over to the chargers. Right now these are bleeding off power, so that's the, the heat uh, signatures up towards the top there. And they're all doing pretty well. They're getting a little bit warm, but uh, not too bad. Uh, one more over there. And you can see the, uh, the lead acid batteries. I've been charging those. But yeah, this camera is awesome. And it really comes in handy uh, for doing this kind of stuff. So that's what I've been working on here, guys. Uh, thanks for taking a look. And uh, I will be getting a new inverter pretty soon here. I'm going to go with an Outback Radian, uh, so that's going to be awesome to hook up to my system. I'm very excited for that, and uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated.